this is Nikki from my favors and um, I just wanted to go over with you today what it is that I'm doing working on bring in her image and I put this off the um, internet because they sent it through messenger and then I'm going to paste her image here so you can tell that it's not filling up the whole box so what I normally do is take it and just fill the whole entire box with the image I do not want all this background I just want her image this is all I'm going to put on the wrap so what I like to do normally let's let's um, give it a little light let's lighten it up a little bit and do some contrast okay so normally what I was doing originally was getting that um, quick selection tool over here and I would just outline it like that and then I would edit I would cut and then once you cut you would see that you still have some areas still not selected so what you can do is go back undo but keep it on that selection tool let it still um, have that selection tool on and then just add to it and then everywhere that you saw that there wasn't any like there was still like uh, pieces of that image left just make sure you go over it okay so I'm, I'm happy with that and what I do is I undo to keep that original photo in case if I had to go back and grab it again and then just paste it so now you have cut out the background of that image and I'm just gonna add her because she saw another image where I had a picture on the ends here so this is what she wanted me to do so I'm gonna add her to this image and I'm gonna put her over here because she's looking that way and I'm gonna try to just curve her bring her inward a little bit and there I'm gonna duplicate her by going to layer and duplicate layer and then I'm gonna drag that duplicate layer over there so now I want to go ahead and flip her so that she can be looking this way I want her to be looking the opposite way so I'm gonna go to image rotate all right so this is where I get confused is it vertical nope bear with me 11 years 14 years working with this program and I still go through this there we go horizontal so now I have her looking the other way and I'm gonna bring her image up some I can't mask her into this image because the image is locked so I would have to kind of make sure she's just right there and I try, don't put it on the edge too close because part of that will be wrapped so this is why it's important when you save in documents keep it at the uh, PSD make sure that it's not locked before you actually close out because if you leave it locked this is how it's going to come back when you open it up and now once I have the image saved for the nine ounce cups you can actually put two wraps so I'm gonna get a paper US paper eight and a half by eleven sheet it's at 300 make sure you add 300 I'm gonna rotate that right okay so this is why I messed up the last time when I sent this image to her 
what I did was I merged the layers layers let's see merge layers let me ungroup that you want to make sure I need to duplicate this one all right so merge the layers could have selected all three merge layers and now it's one so I drag it over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase that white border going around it all right so now the this layer is locked like I can't make any more changes be sure to unlock your layers so just do an undo until you see that that layer has been unlocked like you can remove the um, images again so that's why I went wrong at the last time I didn't unlock the layers after completing it and basically all I just did was add that first picture here and removed it back there and this is how I sent it when it's um when I'm getting ready to send it to them for the final final image so I save it as a JPEG and then I save it again as a PNG and of course um, when I'm doing it as a fulfillment for a customer I always use the uh, photo glossy sticker paper you know my paper of choice that I have and I will show you how I actually print that and I will make that into a wrapped cup all right so that will be later on today um if you're watching this video from youtube don't forget to like and subscribe so you do not miss miss that video on how this is done come on over to our group ebc uh, facebook.com slash forward slash groups forward slash epc crafters so you do not miss how we put these together and come over and enjoy many more of our other crafts thank you for watching